Hi, I'm Steve, and today we're going to go over the Gulfstream card for December 30th. Start off in race one. Race one is a turf race. There's a lot of first time turfers, so uh, be careful in this race. A lot of unknowns. Um, they seem to have a decent favorite, the 10, but there's two horses in this race that offer a uh, little value, uh, the three and the one and the five Stellarator. Five to one and six to one in the morning line, they offer good value. I would box them or use them in the pick threes or doubles. Uh, if you're using the pick five, you might want to throw in the favorite, but if it is anywhere near the morning line price of nine to five, especially on the outside, it's just really not a lot of value. And you know, I would just consider tossing it unless you're making a serious pick five play. But again, you can always leave it out of the pick five and then play a pick four if it happens to win. Probably better value there. Race two is a bunch of really uh, poor horses. Um, I don't know what I would do with this race. The favorite is the right favorite, but at eight to five, I don't know. I guess I would just wheel this race. This, this race, just these horses are so bad. Who knows? Anything can happen. Four at 12 to one. I don't know. It's just this race is a mess. The favorite's never been on the surface before. Um, I would stay away from it. But if you're using multiple races, I would I would wheel it and hope for a long shot. Probably end up with the favorite. Race three is just a contentious race. It's a tough race. Almost everyone but the one and two have a shot. The long shot six is interesting to 20 to one. I don't know if I would specifically key it, but you have to use it. And the, the two best horses, I guess, the best value in the race would be the three, whatnot, and the seven, hotter July. Um, if you're using uh, the, the four, the favorite downtown, downtown Tabby is one of the more likely winners, but it's just way too short at seven to five. And the five South Pacific can win, but it's not a lot of value. So maybe stick with the three, six, seven in that race and hope you get lucky. Race four is a maiden race with some unknowns, but there, there is a little bit of value here. Not really. Uh, there's a bunch of horses that are short. Six horses in this race are six to one or less. And of those, the three, Promenica, Promenenexia, and the eight, Too Much Vino, who's the actual favorite, those two are probably slightly better. Not a great race to get involved in, but I would try the uh, the three, eight, if, you, uh, if you're using if you're betting multiple race bets like pick three, double, or pick four. Race number five, two-year-olds on the turf. You usually like to stay away from those because there's too many unknowns, but there is some decent value here with the one, three, zero, and the two, C Hunter. These are the most likely winners and they're decent value at five to one and eight to one. There's a huge favorite here that has not run on the surface. It's actually, it's, it's race, it's one race is a gigantic race. This horse ran a big number for a two-year-old, but I would bet against it um, being able to translate on the surface. I mean, it probably will, this horse will probably win, but um, even if it wins 30 or 40% of the time, it's probably good value to toss it and focus on the one, two. So I wouldn't use it at all. I would toss it in all, all plays and just hope it doesn't show up on the surface. Race number six. Race number six, we have a maiden race that's not too interesting. There's a bunch of firsties. I would just focus on the four horses that have run, the three, four, six, and seven. Uh, the seven is 15 to one, but it it's uh, probably deservedly. I wouldn't key it as a long shot. The four at 10 to one is probably the value. The six, the favorite is, is too short of a favorite. I don't know why this horse is six to five. But um, I wouldn't really spend effort on this race unless you uh, want to key the four. And if you're using multi-race bets, I would go with three, four, six, and seven. Race number seven is a tight race. It's two-year-olds. Um, few of them have a chance to win. I would say one, two, three, four have a chance to win. And the other two favorites, six and seven, I would toss out. I think three meditation is clearly the most likely winner in the race and not bad value of nine to two. So maybe I would use one, two, three, four in the multi-race bets, consider king the three meditation, betting it on its own. Race number eight might be the best value race of the day. Uh, there's a lot of horses with a shot and it's kind of uh, maybe confusing how to play these horses. <laughs> Excuse me. The two faves, the six and the seven are okay. 
but I would really toss them for purposes of betting this race. And I would focus on uh, four horses that I think are the, the most likely winners of this race and all very long. And there's a fifth that might be used also. The one red horn of the 15 to one is just a, is an outstanding value. This is one of the top contenders in the race and 15 to one must be used. The three therapist is also uh, not a huge price at five to one, but probably is the most likely winner of this race and definitely must be used. It's good value in this race. The six and seven, the faves are okay, but I would toss them. The nine is okay. I probably would use it because it's 20 to one. This is the kind of fifth horse, the alternate horse. The real key of the race for me would be the 10. The 10, Sigrun Fast Boy is probably the most likely winner of this race. This horse looks pretty good. It's coming up a short layoff. Uh, definitely worth a gamble at 15 to one. Probably the best value on today's card. And the 13, Shadizar, 20 to one on the outside. If this guy draws in, it's a pretty good value at 21 uh, and I would use it. So I would use one, three, 10, 13 in this race, maybe toss in the nine. And if I had to pick one key, it would be the 10. I think the one 10 are the best value here. Maybe the one, cause it's got the rail, you know, should be thrown into, but this is the best betting race of the day. And the last race 10 is kind of a complete mess. It's these horses, just a bunch of cripples going a mile and, um, Unfortunately, if you're using a pick six or some multi-race bet, you have to use it. Um, I think the best value is the four tone feeling. They have the right favorite with the seven hierro and the six uh, causalistic is just a poor five to two shot, but it could win and maybe you don't want it to beat you. I don't know. I really, uh, and the three perfect cut, I mean, three, four, six, seven kind of hopefully buys the race. I mean, there's just these guys are are cripples and a lot of them throw in good races once in a while. And it's just it's a tough race to bet. I would um, if you want to gamble a little bit, I would use the four, seven. If you want to just hit the race, no matter what, I would use three, four, six, seven. And you might even want to throw in the two. Here comes bullet at 12 to one. It's a tough race. And if I'm being a little ambiguous, it's because it's just a hard race for me to, to separate. And uh, that is it. That is the card for today. And hope you uh, hope you win money. Good luck.